IBM World 2019 in San Francisco, and we've stopped by the Bitdefender booth. Can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Absolutely. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Andre Florescu. Uh, we're here at the Bitdefender booth at VMworld 2019. Uh, Bitdefender is a global cybersecurity company with uh, partners and offices in uh, 150 countries worldwide and we provide security solutions for data center and uh, cloud workloads. Great, and um, how do you work together with uh, VMware? Uh, Bitdefender has been a technology alliance partner with VMware since uh, 2011. Uh, we have a long good standing partnership. Uh, we've been part of uh, various ecosystems from VShield endpoint to uh, NSX-V. Uh, and this year, we worked on a brand new integration with uh, the guest introspection ecosystem in NSX-T. And I understand you have somebody here from VMware? Yes, I am joined today by uh, Jeff Wilmington from uh, VMware. Yeah, hi, so my name is uh, Jeff Wilmington. I'm part of the uh, networking and security business unit at VMware as a uh, technical product manager and I support the uh, endpoint protection guest introspection platform that our uh, partner here, Bitdefender, uh, integrates with uh, from an NSX perspective. Can you uh, possibly give us a, maybe a short demo of the product? Oh, absolutely. Um, let's uh, walk over here to, to the demo booth. Yep, absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about NSXD? how you guys are working together with Bitdefender? Absolutely. So the NSXT platform is a networking and security platform. And what we've done with the platform is, is we've built in a partner uh, integration platform called Guest Introspection or Endpoint Protection, where our partners can join uh, and integrate with the NSXT platform to provide agentless-based security for agentless anti-virus uh, and anti-malware capabilities within the platform. And that is significantly reduces the operational overhead of managing an entire uh, agent, agent deployment of all of those agents inside your virtual machines and simplifies the overall management completely uh, with both platforms integrated together. So you're going to give us a short demo? Absolutely. Um, Right now, we're uh, looking at uh, a demo of how Bitdefender Gravity Zone integrates with NSXT guest introspection services. And essentially, everything starts in our Gravity Zone management console, where uh, we have a very simple virtualization providers connector uh, with which we uh, integrate Gravity Zone with one or multiple vCenter server instances. Uh, based on that integration, Gravity Zone is able to essentially discover the environment, uh, the way we replicate the layout is identical. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, one-to-one uh, replica of how vCenter server uh, is displaying the layout. And this is really uh, helping customers understand in real time what assets are being deployed in the environment. Now, on the NSXT uh, integration part that Jeff was mentioning earlier, we also uh, create a link between Gravity Zone Control Center and NSXT Manager. At this point, when we configure the integration, Gravity Zone will start communicating uh, with NSX uh, Manager. We're going to provide templates for security virtual appliances that uh, uh, security administrators are then being able to, to deploy through NSX workflows. And right now we're looking at those uh, service deployment workflows where uh, based on uh, the NSXT layout, the customers uh, are able to simply define a new service deployment uh, pointed to a specific cluster. Uh, all the configurations are automated and handled uh, through NSX Manager, deploying the, the Bitdefender Security Virtual Appliance template. This is a very simple operation. Once it's uh, configured, uh, essentially Gravity Zone now has the security insights into uh, vCenter server, those workloads, and we're able to now push configuration policies and enforce those uh, configuration policies on various logical structures uh, like groups. So on the group side, uh, in NSX Manager, administrators are going to define a series of uh, groups that have different uh, static or dynamic membership criteria, uh, very flexible configurations in NSX Manager. Right now we're simply adding a few test systems uh, within these security groups. In the first security group, 
we have uh, one member that's statically assigned uh, based on the group definition. We're going to configure two more, uh, just so we can showcase how systems are uh, being protected, unprotected, and what's kind of the response mechanism whenever a threat is being detected and uh, neutralized. So we have uh, a VM in the first security group, another VM in the second security group, and now we're defining a dynamic membership in a quarantine group. We will see later on that NSX is able, based on uh, a metadata tag that's assigned from Bitdefender Gravity Zone to systems where we prevented a threat, we are going to automatically be able to switch kind of the security enforcements that are done around the suspicious system to allow uh, security administrators to investigate. So right now the quarantine group is uh, empty. On the policy configuration side, administrators are going to define those policy templates in Gravity Zone Control Center. We have a, a predefined list of uh, templates. Customers can define and uh, create any number of security configurations to uh, essentially match with their configurations. And then uh, by enabling the NSX checkbox, Gravity Zone will automatically publish those policy uh, configurations to NSX Manager. NSX Manager is the security orchestrator in this scenario where administrators are going to use the endpoint protection rules to assign policies to various security groups. Uh, this is a very simple and highly dynamic way of automating end-to-end -end security configurations and uh, the enforcement of the security modules. Notice in the vendor template area, the policy we created in Gravity Zone is now uh, listed and available for assignation in NSXT Manager. On the rules side, we're going to uh, create a new uh, policy that's going to essentially tie that uh, service profile with a security group based on a very simple rule mechanism. As you can see, uh, we're simply uh, providing a name for the rule. We're going to select uh, one or multiple security groups that were previously configured and where virtual machines reside logically, and then decide what type of security profile provided by Gravity Zone the administrator wants to assign to the group. So we created a group for uh, the first security uh, group, which is now displayed in Gravity Zone as protected. This uh, effectively enables the security solution uh, and the monitoring for the target VMs in that security group. Now we're going to run uh, another configuration here. Uh, we're going to create the configuration for uh, the quarantine uh, systems which is a very simple way of saying, hey, when the security uh, provider, in this case Bitdefender, detects something suspicious, change the overall security configurations around the quarantine group and allow the security administrator to investigate. And now we're simply going through a demo. Uh, we're starting with an unprotected system where we're creating some test infections. And notice when we create those uh, test infection files, they remain persistent on the disk because the security is not enabled on, uh, on the system. Now we're running through the same experiment again, but this time on the protected system. And the expectation is now when we uh, use the uh, test file generator uh, to create a file, it says it's create, it has created the file, but the file is not really there because Bitdefender already took the corrective action and removed the threat. While that happened, we also created uh, the metadata on that particular VM which triggered the automatic move into the quarantine section. Uh, after the security administrator uh, investigates uh, or runs forensics on that system, uh, the system can also be automatically moved back from the quarantine section to its original security group by running a final uh, full scan uh, validation. If that system is uh, identified as being clean, Gravity Zone will automatically remove the security tag and the VM will uh, restore its normal operation under the original security group. And where can people go if they want to find out more information about Bitdefender or the things we've talked about today? Uh, there's a wealth of information available both on the VMware website and the Bitdefender website. Uh, visit bitdefender.com slash sddc to find more information about Gravity Zone and uh, the security solutions we designed for uh, software-defined data centers. Uh, Jeff and I published uh, a couple of joint blogs. Uh, a recorded demo like the one you've seen uh, today is available on YouTube as well.